morning we're going to be changing out the secondary electron multiplier in the Thermo E2 mass spectrometer. First thing you do after you take it out of the box is squeeze the pillow. You want to make sure that the argon is trapped inside there. These are all the instructions we're going to be following. The four vac is maxed out at 2.31 times 10 to the negative four. And the high vacuum is at 8.6, 8.8, whatever, times 10 to the negative eight. It's good to note these pressures so that you know where you started. And we're going to open the most recent tune file. We're going to open, go to control, additional parameters. The SEM voltage was set at 2225. We're going to take the SEM voltage and set it to zero and hit close because that'll save it. And then we're going to go file, save as, spray chamber, uh, SEM zero. Now we wait for the turbo pumps to wind down. I want to edit that. <laughs> uh, we're going to turn off S2, which is the electronics. Okay. So you want to take this thing out and you want to look at it. So there's two resistors on this one. Uh, one resistor or two, it doesn't matter. And make sure that the connections look good. There's no wires sticking out. Look at the surface, make sure it's not bent. Nothing bad happened during transport. Looks good. All right, now we'll move, remove the cover. We don't, um, screw it down or anything. Okay, the first thing I do is check inside the housing and make sure there's no burn marks or anything unusual. I'm going to remove these two knurled screws. Grab it by this little handle here and lift it straight up. I'm then going to visually inspect the conversion dynode. It's a little steel plate. Look at the old SEM and make sure that it doesn't look damaged. We can fill it with argon if we want to. Get the new. Uh, uh, SEM. Contacts, you want to make sure that these contacts attach the contacts in the, on the board there. And everybody looks like they're seating at the same place. The manufacturer put them together nicely. All right, now it's seated properly. Just gotta give a little oomph. Put in those contacts. And then finger tight screws. Look at it one more time. And, uh, so now once the SEM is in, uh, just make sure that this uh, ring is seated properly in its canal. So when you put the lid back on, you'll get a nice uh, seal. Mm -hmm. we'll put the lid back on. you find the, the groove. Groove is in the hot Just. <laughs> that. Make sure you find the groove so that uh, it's seated where it should be. Now we'll turn back on the uh, S2 switch for the electronics.
turn on the turbo pumps. We got the four pump working first. Now we're gonna wait for A, B, C, and D turbo pumps to kick on. A is always last to kick on. We already have a vacuum happening. I can feel that the lid is no longer play. There's no play in it. Um, we're going to close the cabinet lid to keep the temperature inside the instrument. Um, but we're going to stick the screwdriver next to the slot that fits the lid. That will keep HV from turning on. Now granted we have it turned off in the software, but this is a a fail safe, if you will. Yep. The turbo pump B, C, and D are on over 50%. Now, after a few minutes, TPA is finally kicked on. Um, you'll have this board check light up until you restart the instrument. So don't worry about the board check light unless it doesn't go off <laughs> after you're ready to uh, tune. Um, but that board check light comes on whenever you open the hood. So we're going to fill this bag with argon. It's a good idea if you want to reuse that FDM. Uh, if the one you put in is bad, so you can put the old one back in in the interim to get a new FDM. You should fill that bag with argon. Uh, to preserve that FDM as long as possible. I'm letting it fill up and I'll squeeze it out. Just kind of Make sure all the atmosphere air gets out. And then we're going to double bag it with argon just in case. It's also a good idea to write down when it came out of service, the voltage that it was maxed out at and uh, a reason why you changed it if it wasn't just the regular life of the FEM. And we're done. Here is uh, a bag that we um, filled with an SEM that we changed six months ago. Uh, you can tell that the argon is still in there because it's nice and puffy. Uh, so it really does work. We've changed the SEM. We've we pumped down overnight, 12 hours at least, for off-gassing the SEM. Our high vac pressure was 10 to the negative 8, so we're ready to we started the instrument. Uh, we warmed up the magnet, um, and uh, we're going to now introduce um, the thermo solution, which has indium-115. Um, we're going to increase the SEM voltage to where we see about 150,000 counts on Indium 115, and then we're gonna let that sit for two hours. It's called burning in the SEM. After we burn in the SEM, uh, we'll do a plateau test um, to see the, to set the SEM uh, voltage, and then we'll measure dead time. And that concludes changing out the SEM.